Welcome back to the tailgate tour. Uh, I'm Jeff Pangle, technical seed agronomist for Winfield United for the Delta region. And with me today is... Kevin Harper. I'm the performance optimization DSM for North Louisiana. We're at Wisner, Louisiana answer plot today. And I asked Kevin to join me to talk about soybean irrigation. And so what we want to do today is just kind of um, go through some of the highlights of soybean irrigation. We're in full full swing in some places and just got beans coming up in others. So we're uh, we're all over the board. Yeah, we had a we had a late uh, kind of a early season. We had a, a lot of rain. We had a lot of cool temperatures early on. Then we were finally able to get in and plant, and then we've turned off hot and dry. Yeah, like too wet, too long, and then too hot, too dry, too fast. Absolutely. Uh, that's kind of typical of our Delta weather pattern. And so here we have um, beans uh, on the Macon Ridge here at Wisner that uh, I think Kevin and Corey and I were talking this morning. Uh, might rain three inches on Monday, but by Friday you need to start the water again. Yep. So we're in a rotation here already on this farm of watering the beans frequently. Um, one of the key things to keep in mind is that when we think about a bean crop, and sometimes we really don't take this into consideration, soybeans are going to use the same amount of water in the growing season that a crop of corn will. So that's 24 inches. And so we cannot be short on water and expect to make these 70 and 80 bushel bean yields that we're becoming you know, accustomed to making. Uh, but it's water's going to play a key part in that. We get to this point in the year, and maybe maybe we're not quite there, but within another week or so, we're going to be looking at two and a half inches of water needs per week, or up to three tenths of an inch per day. Yeah. And that's that's water use. That doesn't count evaporation or anything like that. That's just what the plant itself needs. Yeah, and the soybean basically has the same bell shape curve, water use curve that the corn plant does that shows through the transitioning growth stages how the water demand goes up. Um, the other thing that's kind of an interesting thing about soybean irrigation is we've made a huge swing in the, in the maturity of soybeans that we have planted here in the Delta over the last 10 or 15 years especially. Yeah, I would say even going back further than that, if you look at the old uh, maturity zone charts from the textbooks back in the yeah. 70s and maybe even early 80s, we're, in, we're standing in probably a group six soybean zone right now. And even maybe just a few miles south, it crosses over into that group seven. And what are we planting here? Group four. We're, we're planting group four. So we're planting something that, according to the chart, really says we should be up in the boot hill or maybe a little bit further north. So this, these indeterminate group fours are gonna go through their growth stages at a quicker pace which means we got to be Johnny on the spot with the irrigation. So what's the two most important ones, Kevin, on the irrigation? The first one and the last one. The first one and the last one. We got to start timely and we got to take this crop all the way through. So once again, Jeff Pangle, technical seed agronomist for Winfield United in the Delta, along with Kevin Harper this morning at Wisner, Louisiana at the answer plot. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the soybean irrigation video.